The children and guests were all beautifully dressed in colors of the uniform attire. <laughs> Some of the children say their late mother was the unifying force in the family whose legacies live on. My mother is a good caring woman. She lived all her life with my father with peace, with a quarrel. She cared for me. Anything I need, my, mom, my mother will do it for me. I so much love it. If you, are, if you don't have money, you come to this woman, she will give you the money. If you don't have food, she will give you. And that's why in the village, everybody loved her, everybody missed her. Some of the grandchildren say they will forever miss their matriarch. I miss her so much because the day I was born, she was one who take care of me, the first baby. So I miss her so much. I will never forget her in my entire life. Grandma is one person that, no matter how things seem to be very bad, and you run to her, she has this solemn words to comfort you. Guests advise the children to emulate their mother's lifestyle. They should, they should come together as one. They should remain as one. They should give respect to the most senior in the family. And then they should work together as a team. No longer have father, no longer have mother. No, those people that are, are the ones that take care of them before, but they have to take care of themselves and their children. So my advice on them is that they should not have any quarrel. The late Mama Ehato Asemuta, who died at the age of 98, was a successful farmer and community leader. She is survived by seven children, 42 grandchildren and hosts of relatives. <laughs> In Benin, Philomena Ogbebo, NTA News.